this little refresher. Um, who can say, who can tell me why we use a number line um, instead of a clock? How are they the same? How are they different? Leah? Because you're still counting by fives. It's still counting by fives. Joshua? Because time never stops. Time never stops, right? And the number line never stops, does it? That's what the um, arrows mean. So what you do is all you're doing, remember again, all we're doing is taking our times and moving them to a line, to a number line. We're just straightening them out. It's like you're breaking up the clock, straightening it out, and moving it into a number line. All right. So, what is the next step after you think about when you have a problem for a last time and you are thinking about um, how you should use this timeline? What do you have to decide first? Zion? Can you skip count? Well, we would be skip counting, wouldn't we, if we're trying to figure out a last time? What would we have to decide? What goes next? Emma? I'm going to have to put the times, the o'clocks, we call them, okay? <coughs> so I'm going to skip over to another problem over here. We said this, that this little girl is going running. And we said she went after school and that she started at, we'll say, 3.05. And that she finished at 4, I'm going to say 4.55. No, I'm not. Let's say 355. Okay, that was just like 355. We did do one like that yesterday. Okay. So let's take a look at this problem. First, we want to think about the clocks. And this is how you usually think about time. Is that we put the hour on what? Three. Three. And the minute hand? On 55. No, on 05 here. Okay, now what about this one? Three, almost four. Why? Because it's five, because in five minutes it's going to be four. In five minutes it's going to be four. It's closer to four than five. All right, so that would be 355. Okay? Now, when I take it to the timeline, um, Emma just reminded us that the first thing we need to do is label our o'clocks. Okay? So, what is this first o'clock going to be? What's it going to be, Leah? Three. Three o'clock. How did you know that? Because it says three o'clock. Okay, because that's what our time was up here. I'm not going to label it six o'clock when we're looking at the hour of three, right? Now, so I go um, three o'clock, three o'five, three ten, three fifteen, three twenty, three twenty-five, three thirty, three thirty-five, three forty, three forty-five, three fifty. 355, what is the next o'clock? 60. 60 is four. the minutes, but what o'clock comes four. after three? Four, four o'clock comes after three o'clock. All right, and then this would be 405, 410. And then we stop because that's the only amount of timeline we need. Because look at our end time. We have a start time and an end time. Okay? Alright, so our little girl, let's find where she goes on the line. She's, please stop. She starts at 3.05, so that's right there. Okay? Um, remember, if it's a timeline that we're doing, we would put a dot right there, because we don't have these nice little pictures that slide, do we, on our worksheets. All right, where do we put the end girl, where she ends her run? 3.55, which is right here. Now, how do I figure elapsed time once I get my beginning point and my end point? How do I figure elapsed time? What do I do? I do jumps on the number line and count. And I can count by fives for these. I don't need to do one minute yet. We're going to do that later, but right now we're just doing fives. So I would go 
So how long was her run? 50, 50 minutes. 50 minutes. Very good. Let me ask you a question. If I kept this number line going, because number lines can go on and on forever and ever, what would my next o'clock be? Four. Uh, wait, think about it for just a minute. I have three o'clock and then four o'clock. Sadie, what's my next o'clock? No. I mean, five o'clock. Five o'clock. Good job. Five o'clock would be my next o'clock. 